Hi guys, so today I wanted to do a baby minimalist kind of video and like what you actually need, like the bare essentials and what I think are like my personal faves that I need to have for a baby. Um, this time around, this is baby number three. We are having a girl after two boys. Um, I'm actually behind her. I'm in front of her crib right now. No, she's not here yet. I still have, let's see, I am 25 weeks now. So I still have some time to go, but I obviously am preparing early. Both of my boys were born early, so I am, obviously I want to be prepared. Um, there's really, at this point, my doctors don't think there's a risk of me having her early. The only thing that could be an issue is my blood pressure, but again, um, I shouldn't, I should be fine. Um, at any time after 37 weeks, I can have her and she, you know, and I'll be fine. So our goal is 37 weeks, which is, give us about 12 more weeks. Sorry about that. Had to go wipe somebody's bum. The joys of motherhood. So anyways, so I am preparing early and this time around, we really wanted to go minimal with this. With the boys, with Jeffrey, I had a huge shower that my mother and mother-in-law gave us. It was amazing. We got so much stuff. It was extremely overwhelming when we came home with all of that stuff. I don't know if it was partially because, because I had Jeffrey so early, he was a little over five weeks early. I actually was discharged from the hospital the day of my shower. I had had Jeffrey 48 hours earlier. So I was extremely hormonal. I had just given birth to a premature baby. Granted, he was doing very well, and there was actually a chance he was going to be at the shower, but he had jaundice, so he had to stay. Um, but otherwise, they were saying, had he not had jaundice, he would have been discharged with me. So I was very emotional. It was, it was a very, very emotional day. So needless to say, I don't know if that had something to do with the fact that I was, it felt very overwhelming. But even afterwards, like, having Jeffrey home, dealing with all the stuff that we had, we had too much, way, way too much. Do not get me wrong. I am extremely grateful for everything we got, but we didn't use a lot of it. And then having Robert very closely afterwards, I mean, it was great because we, the clothes we used all over again and the stuff we used, but some of it, it was like, I felt like I used it because we had it, but the boys really didn't need it or use it very much. I just like kind of rotated because I had it, therefore I used it. Um, so this time around, we were like, no, 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 we're not going to do that. We are going minimal. We also are not buying until we need it. So like the bigger items, like a crib, um, which I'll explain in a little bit, but that kind of stuff, we're not buying until we need it because why have it around if we potentially don't need it? So let me start. If I look down, I made myself a little list. You need a place for baby to sleep. Now we plan on co-sleeping and room sharing. Um, so we do have this, we bought this, actually, this was the one thing we bought for Robert minus getting a, um, double stroller because <laughs> I had two small ones. So the boys, if you do not know, my boys are 11 and a half months or 10 and a half months apart. So I didn't need a double stroller, but we did buy this because we, the bassinet we had for Jeffrey was not very, um, we didn't feel like it was really sturdy. It was like part of a pack and play that we had, but like it had a stand you could use and it just we didn't like the stability of it. It was really wobbly and we knew with having Jeffrey who was climbing, we really wanted something that was more sturdy so that he didn't knock it over, um, you know, when he tried to climb into it, which has happened. So <clears throat> needless to say, I wanted something else. We really didn't like it. It didn't last very long because it was so small. So we ended up going with this. This is a pack and play. What is it actually called? It is a Graco travel light crib with stages. Stages are important. <laughs> um, right now, if you can see, this is stage one, which is for infants up to 15 pounds. And then it goes down one more level for 20 pounds. And then it goes all the way down to be a pack and play. It is just smaller. It fits through doorways. So I can slide it out into the living room if I need it. Um, needless to say, this is what she's going to sleep in for a while. I will push against my bed when we're co-sleeping. Um, another thing is, is we realized, especially with Jeffrey, we enjoyed co-sleeping. It was nice. We liked having him in our bed. I know it's extremely controversial. I get it. Everyone does things differently. We personally enjoyed it. Our children enjoyed sleeping with us. We honestly think Jeffrey, part of Jeffrey's sleep issues is because he did not sleep with us long enough because he really wanted to, but obviously I got pregnant right, you know, pretty soon afterwards. So we weaned him 
One, I was going back to work and Ed was at the time not comfortable having Jeffrey sleep with him because I worked overnights. So therefore Ed was watching Jeffrey while I was sleeping. And Ed was just not comfortable having him in the bed. He felt like he was going to smother him. Needless to say, um, that did not last long. And Ed gave in and let him sleep with, uh, with him. I would, he would be, he was adamant. He's like, I am not sleeping with him. I, unless you're there, I'm not going to do it. And I said, fine. I think I worked like two nights the second night I came home and I found them in bed together sleeping. So they were, they both enjoyed it. Ed even has said, he, I mean, when we talked about it, I brought it up again. I said, you know, so we're still going to co-sleep this time. And he goes, heck yeah. Because we definitely think that part of the, my, our boys issues sleeping was they didn't really like their crib. Jeffrey did not like his crib. He preferred to sleep with us. Like I said, I did wean him early because I was pregnant. Therefore, I did not want two infants in my bed. Like I said, they were very close in age, so I did not want them both in my bed. I didn't think it was safe. Um, looking back, it ended up happening anyways, but I tried really hard. I figured, you know, oh, oh I'm gonna be getting up a lot while I'm, you know, pregnant to go to the bathroom. At this time, nobody informed me that I could put a bed rail on my bed. Like, why did nobody tell me this? Had I realized that, I would have bought one and Jeffrey probably would have still been sleeping in our bed. Um, needless to say, we will get one now if baby girl prefers to be in our bed, um, but that we'll deal with that when it comes because Robert, he liked it right at the beginning, but by the time he was like rolling and it became, it, you know, it would have became an issue, he didn't like to sleep with us anymore. So he ended up in the pack and play. He absolutely loved it in here. Um, he actually was in here until he was almost eight and a half months old. He liked it that much. Uh, the only reason we switched him to a crib was because Jeffrey went into a toddler bed at 15 months old. Honestly, probably should have done it earlier because Jeffrey enjoyed the toddler bed more than the crib. So again, would have probably solved my sleep issues with him. But anyways, so that's why Robert then eventually went into a crib. But at 10 months old, Robert didn't want to be in a crib anymore. He wanted to be in a big boy bed like Jeffrey. I had to get another toddler bed. So, I mean for the second child, I really didn't use the crib very long. So we're pretty much waiting for Mia to decide if she one, prefers to sleep in our bed, in which case we will get rails, um, or if she prefers to be in a crib or prefers to be in an open bed, in which case we will get a toddler bed for her. So we're kind of just playing that by ear, but you do need some place for baby to sleep. So you need to decide where you want to use a crib a pack and play, a bassinet, whatever, your bed, you need some place for baby to sleep. Another thing that's a necessity is diapers and wipes. Whether you cloth diaper or disposal, you need diapers and wipes. So that is something that you do need. Um, I already am stocking up on diapers because we are going to uh, dispose, use disposables this time. With Jeffrey, we did do cloth and we did cloth with both the boys for a little bit. And then because of where we were living, the laundry situation, the washers stopped working. They had to replace them. It got really complicated. So we ended up at the time stopping the cloth and switching to disposables while they were fixing all this. And we realized that because we were paying for the washer and dryer, like we had to, you know, we it was the coin ones. It actually was more money for us to use the, dis the cloth diapers than it was for us to use disposables. So we switched this time around. I'm like, I, I, I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> So we are going to do disposables. So that is something you need. A car seat. Unless you live in a city, and I'm not even sure about people in a city where you like use taxis. I don't know how that works, but we need a car seat. So we did buy one. If you saw, I think it was my first baby haul. We did buy a car seat for her. So I have that. <clears throat> Another thing is a carrier. I don't know about anybody else, but I carry my babies. I have a, a you know baby carrier. I actually have two this time which might seem silly, but I will explain. <laughs> but you wear your baby a lot. Your baby wants to be held, but you need your hands free, especially where I have two little, I have two, I have a kindergartner and a preschooler. I need my hands to be free. That's Even just for green cooking. Shirt. That is your green shirt, yes. And they I have, see? <laughs> so anyways, because I have a kindergartner and a preschooler, I need my hands free. And I even thought the reason I have a second one, I bought one full price at, for like $30. And then I bought a second one at a consignment sale for, don't do that. You're going to shake it for $10. Was that one? Yeah. I bought a second one for $10 because I want to keep one in the car. We live on the second floor or we're, we're in the third floor of an apartment building. 
And my thought is, is I'm going to keep one in my car and keep one in the house. So therefore, when I go out, like when I go to pick the boys up from school at the end of the day, if they decide they want to go to the park, um, I have the Bjorn if needed. Or when I go to the store, I don't have to remember to grab one extra thing. I just bought a, a used one, <clears throat> excuse me, to keep in my car. Ooh, sorry. Another thing is clothes. You do need clothes, but you do not need that much. Especially, like I said, there are four of us in this house right now. I do laundry. How often does mommy do laundry? Probably every other day. Sometimes I do it every day. Therefore, once baby girl comes, I'm probably gonna be doing laundry every day because babies go through a lot of clothes, but you don't need that much. So I'm definitely, though we are grateful for the hand-me-downs we are getting, I am not keeping everything and I am um, donating what I don't need because we really don't need that much. One thing I personally enjoy is swaddlers. Now, you can use, Jeffrey, this one's yours, honey. Um, they, I personally like, I like swaddling my babies. I can, yes, honey. Um, I personally like swaddling my babies, but you can use a receiving blanket. You can lose a muslin blanket. You can use the ones with the Velcro. I personally, this time around, again, third baby, going easy. I am getting a lot of the, um, what is it? The Velcro ones, but I do have some muslin blankets, which I probably will use. I enjoy the muslin blankets for like everything for nursing to cover up, uh, to throw down if I've got to change a diaper. I just really enjoy them. They work really well, um, but you really can use any kind of blanket. I see, honey. Um, another thing you need is, yes, is, this is going to be a, such an interesting video with them in the background, um, is you need to decide if you are going to breastfeed or bottle feed, in which case you will need, you know, breastfeeding supplies you might need a pump look into your insurance because you can't get them for free i got one for free this time um so i am also going to be formula feeding because i just don't have a good supply therefore i do have some bottles but i in formula but that's more personal choice and they saw their bathing suits and want to put them on <laughs> so anyways like i was saying you need to decide you need bottles you do not have to go with the expensive ones i did end up going with the expensive ones with Robert. We went with the Dr. Browns because he had severe, severe reflux. And I did get rid of most of them. I do have some of the smaller four ounce bottles, which I kept, I think I have three. And then I'm using Medela because I had the Medela bottles. So I just bought the nipples to go on top, done and done. Hopefully baby girl likes them. If not, I will, we will go through that phase when it comes, but I am not super worried about that. But you do need to think about breastfeeding supplies and also if you're going to formula feed you're going to need formula and bottles obviously um another thing that i personally enjoy is a rock and play um i had one for the boys i also had a swing and a bouncer for them i used the rock and play all the time the really only reason i used the swing and the bouncer is because i had them so i like rotated but honestly my kids enjoyed the rock and play so i got another one this time <coughs> Um, I got another one this time. Oh my goodness, they are just crazy this morning. Of course, the one day I'm trying to film this. Um, like I was saying, I liked the rock and play. I did get rid of all of that stuff once Robert was done with it because when we were gonna be moving from Massachusetts to South Carolina, we didn't wanna take it all with us and we weren't sure if we were gonna have a third baby. So we're like, why move it all the way down here to then realize we didn't want another child. So we decided if we would, we would get a used one. Um, that is another thing, go use. Or if somebody is gonna give you something and you need it, take it. Hand-me-downs work great. Um, so I did find a rock and play, the one that actually is, um, it uh, automatically rocks, it like can be plugged in. Um, we did not have that one. That one came out while I was pregnant with Robert and I was like, I already have a rock and play. So I could not justify buying a new one just because it was automatic. But I did find a used one for 20 bucks. It's gonna work perfectly. Um, but just, you really should have some place that you can put baby down because there's gonna be times where, no, you're not gonna to wanna to hold her, hold the baby the whole time. Um, but just putting them in the crib really isn't like an option. They wanna be with you. So I find like having the rock and play, one, it folds up nicely so you can like shove it in a corner, it's out of the way. Another thing is, is if you travel a lot, you can take it with you, but it moves around so easily, it's very light that you know you can move it from room to room when you need to this is one thing i'm kind of up in the air about 
we were given a bathtub. One of our friends ended up actually having two. She is having another baby, but she's like, I don't need two bathtubs. <laughs> she, I forget why she ended up with two. So she did give us one. I did take it, but honestly, we didn't really use one with the boys. They actually just showered with us. Yes, I see your bathing suits on. I see you put it on. You did a good job. Um, we we really didn't use it. We had one that like folded. It was, I mean, it was nice as combat. Shh, Robert. If you're going to sit here, you got to be quiet for mommy. I'm almost done. They're so excited. Um, so anyways, we did have a bathtub. Like I said, it folded. It was nice. But we showered with Rob, with Jeffrey and Robert. We like took them in the shower with us. Um, so we really didn't use that much of the bathtub. Um, except when they were like really little. But honestly, even looking back, we didn't use it that much. This time around, the only reason I agreed to it was because the only way we would bathe the baby like in the shower with us is if there was, you know, my husband or myself home who could then take baby once baby was all washed, dried them off, all that fun stuff. My husband does travel. Therefore, my thought was, well, what if he's traveling and it's just me home and baby needs a bath? That's why I have the bathtub. It is one of those things you don't really need like a fancy one. You could even get one of those bath sponges, which is what I was, was thinking of had she not given me a bathtub. They're really inexpensive and they are lightweight. They don't take up much room. They're fantastic. Birth cloths, holy cow. I am very picky about birth cloths because we unfortunately, well, we were fortunate enough that somebody gifted us some very expensive ones. They're huge. They look like, I think they're eight and a nine. I think that's the brand, but they look like a kidney bean, <laughs> which I know sounds silly, but they're huge. They fit over your shoulder perfectly. There's a really big size. Plus there's a snap that you can make it a bib for the baby. So that's really nice because they're versatile. Um, we personally really like it. They're very thick. So I was able to find some second hand this time. I did buy one that was new. Um, I think it was in my baby girl haul um, because we wanted a girl one. So other than that, you do need birth cloths. I do have just some plain regular ones. Uh, you can also use receiving blankets. I know I have some friends who really prefer to use receiving blankets. So, um, but you will need something to clean the baby up. But I mean, you could use a dish rag. I mean, really anything, but just keep that in mind. Um, another thing is these are more like, I personally like these, but not everybody needs them. One is a sound machine. Uh, we personally like this. I found that babies sleep a lot better. They sleep a lot better with a sound machine because it drowns out all the other noise, especially with two little ones. And we live in an apartment complex. I prefer to use a sound machine. Um, so that's something I do like. They're very inexpensive. I like there's one at Target. I think it's like $20. Um, that's the one we personally really like. I did find, I did get one at Babies R Us. It was during their clearance sale. Um, it's a sound machine and a nightlight, which I thought would be great for nursing in the middle of the night since she is gonna be in our room. Um, another thing is a monitor. You kind of, it's one of those, some people like to use a monitor, some people do not. I do like to use a monitor. I still use one for the boys. Um, I just personally like one. I kept, we had gotten a free one when I was pregnant with Robert. We went to, it was some babies or us sale. Like you spent so much and you got a free monitor. It was a video monitor. We used it for the boys for a while and then went back to the plain monitor that we had that I never got rid of. And I did save the video monitor and it, still works. So I'm going to use that for baby girl for now. So those are kind of my things. This video I think turned out way longer than I was planning, but I also blame two little boys for that. But that's my thoughts on things. If you have things that you prefer to use or maybe something I missed and you're like, wait a minute, don't you want to use that? Put them in the comments below and we can start a discussion. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Say bye. <laughs>